Hey all, Andrew from Upbrakes here. Today I wanted to take a look at how much weight is actually saved by a two-piece brake rotor. You see weight savings marketed with two-piece brake rotors and big brake kits that have two-piece brake rotors all over the place, but I was wondering how much weight is actually saved. Let's take a look at some rotors to see what we're talking about. So this here is a standard brake rotor. It's a single piece of dense iron on most cars. It's pretty heavy. Uh, cast gray iron is a good heat sink and thermally stable, so it makes a good brake rotor. Um, you kind of think of the rotor in two parts. Um, this part on the outside is the ring, and the ring is where the pads contact the rotor and through friction convert the kinetic energy of your moving car into heat energy. Uh, and the rotor absorbs most of that heat energy, and that's what heats up your rotors. Now this ring does the work, but the center part, which we call the hat, is sort of along for the ride. It mounts to the hub and holds the ring, but cast iron isn't really ideal for that job. Uh, but it's just super cheap to make the rotor all out of the same material and cast it as one part, so that's what OEMs do. Now this rotor here, is a two-piece rotor. And it's probably pretty obvious why it's called that. The ring portion here is separate from the hat and the two pieces are bolted together. There's various ways to attach the ring to the hat uh, and I'll cover that in a future video because it's its own topic. Now the ring is made out of essentially the same gas gray iron as our OEM rotor so it's still fairly heavy. But the hat part that attaches to the hub in the car, this is made out of aluminum alloy. This particular one is 6061T6 aluminum alloy. It doesn't need to be made out of dense iron to do its job, this hat part, um, so we can make the hat on a two-piece rotor out of a more ideal material. So you've probably seen a lot of brake kit marketing that touts the advantages of two-piece rotors as the aluminum construction of the center hat saves a bunch of weight. And these rotors are marketed to save anywhere from a few to 10 pounds lighter than stock rotors, but how much weight is actually saved by the aluminum hat portion of the two-piece rotor? Let's figure that out. So this is the OEM one-piece rotor. Uh, this is for a Volvo SPA chassis. Uh, specifically, it's from my own 2019 Volvo S60. Uh, it's 345 millimeters in diameter by 30 millimeters wide. If we weigh it here, let's see how much it weighs. So it was 26.1 pounds. Now let's take our two-piece rotor. And this is a development rotor from the same car. And this rotor is 370 millimeters in diameter. And it is the same 30 millimeters wide as the, uh, as the OEM rotor. So if we weigh this rotor, we come out just over 23 pounds. Um, and if we look at those two numbers, it looks like we save about just under three pounds of weight in the two-piece rotor. Now, when I started doing brake development, the question I had is if the ring is the functional part and the hat is where you can save weight in a two-piece rotor, how much weight does it actually save? Luckily, it's pretty easy to remove the hat portion on a two-piece rotor, which I've done by the magic of video here, already unbolted, and we can take the hardware and the hat portion of the rotor and weigh it separately. And it looks like it weighs just under two and a half pounds here. Now this one-piece rotor, it's not so easy to remove the hat. Since we can't do that, what can we do? Well. We do know one thing that is helpful, and that we know this is rotor is made of cast gray iron, or some variation of it. And the density of cast gray iron is well known. So if we take the dimensions of this hat, including all of the parts here that are not part of the ring, as well as this section here that's not part of the ring, and we remove the holes and the, and the hub hole from that material, we can estimate the volume of material that the hat is. And because we know the density of the material, we can estimate the weight of the hat. Um, and I've done those calculations ahead of time. 
and the volume of the hat portion of this rotor is just over 2.5 cubic inches of cast iron and at the typical density of cast gray iron this hat portion of the rotor should weigh 4.1 pounds. So now we have some pretty easy math to do. We have 4.1 pounds for the iron hat, 2.45 for the aluminum. You save about 1.7 pounds in the two-piece rotor. The first time I did this, I was pretty surprised. I was led to believe by the marketing that two-piece rotors saved five or 10 pounds of weight. But if the weight didn't come out of the hat and it's not part of the two-piece construction, where does that weight savings come from? So it turns out that the weight savings in a two-piece rotor is not really in the hat, or not very much in the hat. Uh, lightweight two-piece rotors are saving weight in the iron rotor ring. Now that may not be a bad thing, but the ring here is functional weight. It's the heat sink in your brake system. And when you make that heat sink smaller, it actually heats up more for the same amount of braking energy than the OEM rotor. Now we only used one example here. Every rotor is gonna differ every application in how much weight can actually be saved in the hat portion of the rotor, but not by much. My rule of thumb is if a two-piece rotor saves more than a few pounds, that's not the two-piece rotor. That's coming out of the ring portion of the rotor. The weight of the iron ring is being reduced and that's the heat capacity of your rotor. So there can be some negative effects there if you remove too much weight from the functional ring portion of the rotor, but that's a topic for a different video. I hope you found this useful today to find out how much weight is actually saved by a two-piece rotor. And if you wanna fight me in the comments, Head down below.